Okay, I'm gonna say it, and I know we should probably start at the beginning with appetizers and blah, 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 but I'm not going to. I'm skipping right to the porterhouse. The best steak I've ever had in Las Vegas. Maybe, maybe the best steak I've had in my life, but. Here we go. Hey everybody, we didn't do our intro before we got here, but we're at SW Steakhouse. Yeah, oh, you should do it the right way. Hey everybody, I'm Josh. I'm like Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> and we are at SW Steakhouse. We already got our drink and we're right on the water. That's right. Cheers. Let's check this place out. Cheers. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, so we requested a patio seat. Oh, and you can see we definitely got a good seat. Blackberry jam on the side. Now I'm gonna do a little flambe. Ready? Yeah. Alright. Oh. Oh. Please enjoy it, okay? Thank you. Beautiful, thank you. try out this lobster gnocchi with black truffle oh is that what that is on there yep it's really creamy i gotta take another bite because wow it's got it's just got a very creamy flavor that gnocchi is cooked to perfection and i love me some truffles so this is a good choice already All right, we got a big old thigh bone here and a couple pieces of bread. Uh, delicious looking bone marrow. I really like the presentation. Table side lighting on fire is always a good thing for me. Uh, if you've seen us before, we do like bone marrow and it is best in my mind with some white bread. They did also give us a blackberry, I think jam? I think that's what they called it, yeah. Um, I'm gonna try it with it. First bite. That's what they gave us, so let's do it. It's very good. Um, the bone marrow, I mean, it tastes, we've called it meat butter before, and I'll call it meat butter again. I'm gonna try it without the blackberry jam this time because I think the blackberry actually overpowers it a little more than I want it to. And I just want this, you know, it's just like, it sounds crazy to say this, but it's, it's like pure, be fat. Meat but butter. But it melts. <laughs> it literally melts. Yeah. You like it? I love it. Oh, and it's if, so we hard didn't, to beat. if we didn't mention it, we're right here on the lake. It's a beautiful setting. Show should start very soon. So this bread is delicious and we just got our second order of it. It is a pretzel bread. It's not as firm as a lot of pretzel breads that you'll get, but it's kind of like a, just a soft yeast roll, but also with pretzel on the top. I really enjoy it. 
It's a good butter that goes with it. It's the hard to go wrong. The salt on it is fantastic. I'm with Josh. Good bread. All right. So you can't tell, but I enjoyed this one. It's called the Perfect Storm. It's a spicy margarita. And what I was telling Josh is what I really like about this is the fact that there's some spice to it, but it still tastes like a margarita. So it's still got that sweet, sour kick to it, which I really, really enjoyed. I'll probably be getting another one of these. And my drink was the Midas Touch, which is actually, it's very similar to an old fashioned, but then they give you this little gold covered chocolate. Yeah, chocolate <laughs> yeah. bar, which is good. Um, it's a very good old fashioned is the way the that I would describe bar? it. You don't need the chocolate bar, but it was great and I <laughs> ate it. That's right. All right, we went with the Porter House. Which is perfect for us. That's right. It really why, is. Why is it? Because it's New York and a filet. And I love New York. Josh loves filet. Yep. There you go. So it's a big old T-bone. It's, I think, 40 ounces. Is that what they said? Maybe. I'll it put does it up. look cooked perfectly so far. Yeah. Um, it was very tender to cut. Good. Wow. So there's like a salt crust on it. They did tell us there is a char on it. That's which... a very perfect char. That's a great New York bite. At least my first bite was delicious. Yeah. So you're looking at a T-bone. Half of it is the New York. Half is the filet. I'm excited for you to try yours and see what you think. Good. You want to try this uh, cream corn first? Yes. I'm just going to take a bite of it. It's very different looking. It doesn't look like it's the most, it's like whole corner kernels. Right. Um, it's got a strong, strong truffle flavor. Strong truffle. Yeah, okay. not as much of a corn flavor as I was expecting. And it doesn't even have the corn texture. It's almost like a puree, a, a rough puree of corn. But that truffle flavor is strong. It's delicious. I, it's just not what I was expecting when you said cream corn when we ordered. All right. All right, so you can see here's the T bone. Half filet, half New York. This is the layout. I do appreciate, and I did ask before if they cut it for us. I actually appreciate that. So you can see this is the filet side. It Which, does look perfectly cooked. It does. It looks so good. I can't imagine that's easy to do. No. I agree with you. It has a very hard crust, and I really like it, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that crust on there is something else, isn't it's it? It's very good. It's different than most steakhouses we've been to, I would say. It's true. I'm going to try that cream corn right now. Doesn't it look different? It almost looks like a puree of some sort. I think it's good, but it's definitely not what you naturally think of with like the whole kernel. So the texture is, is different. Right, I it, agree with you. It is a bit more, I don't want to say soupy because that sounds bad, but it is more liquidy than you naturally think about cream corn. Yeah, I don't notice any kernels of no, corn, do you? it's a good flavor, but it is definitely different. Do you notice the strong truffle flavor, is that just me? I don't. But some funnel cakes. I think it's caramel, creme anglaise, and chocolate. Right. Um, and 
normal Rachel move. I already ate a strawberry. Rachel's really good at that. All right, yeah. what are you going with here? Well, this is the most Instagram worthy dessert I think we've had. It's so cool. I'm gonna go with the uh, creme anglaise. Mainly because I don't know what it tastes like. I hope it's like vanilla. It's like melted vanilla ice cream. How do you go wrong with that? And you're talking about funnel cake. I mean, hello. Thank you, Enrique. By the way, we got a shout out to Enrique. He that guy right there. Best. He's amazing. He's so good. Like, it's a funnel cake. Who doesn't love funnel cakes? It's All right. It's fairly dense. I it was unsure really of dense. that. So I'm going with the caramel. I hope that's what it is. <laughs> that's what Rachel told me. Three sauces. Like I said, this is like the most Instagrammable dessert ever. What do you think of the funnel cake? It's a little bit heavier than I was expecting. Yeah. Um, very good. Not greasy, but definitely heavier than I was kind of hoping. Because we are super full. We had a ton of food. We didn't even think we wanted dessert. No, but I'm gonna go for a little bit more. just finished up at SW Steakhouse. What did you think? Okay, I'm gonna say it, and I know we should probably start at the beginning with appetizers and blah, 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 but I'm not going to. I'm skipping right to the porterhouse. The best steak I've ever had in Las Vegas. Maybe, maybe the best steak I've had in my life, but I'm definitely saying the best steak I've had in Las Vegas. So, backstory. <laughs> if you didn't hear it before, Rachel's favorite cut is the New York. It's my, my favorite. My favorite cut is the filet. <laughs> The porterhouse is the perfect comparison, or not? It's uh, a perfect thing for us. Yeah. basically, it's the perfect two steaks for us. And so I loved it. It it really was the best uh, texture, char, sear, whatever you want to call it. That texture on the outside, and then the inside was cooked perfectly. I was gonna say cooked to perfection. There's this salt crust that leaves an itty bitty thin layer that adds this like mind-blowing texture to it. it it's phenomenal it's one of the i'm not kidding you it's the best steak i've had in las vegas so far yeah. it was I, a, I would highly recommend it was a great experience yep um our the enrique. wait staff was great oh, the enrique. seating the table <laughs> enrique yeah. the table was awesome the show it we enjoyed it a lot this time which is surprising because at lakeside we had very similar shows and we we were not the most happy with it no um but Something just felt different. It felt better. Now, I will tell you, there is a little bit of this piece that isn't going to make the best meal overall. And it's simply sure. the cream corn. To me, it felt more like truffle puree something. It did have yeah. a corn flavor. There was not <laughs> enough corn corn. Right. It, it sounds weird, but there That's, wasn't enough texture of corn or yeah. real corn in it for me. Um, also, I felt like... The funnel cakes were very pretty. They were cool, but they were a little heavy. They're very Instagrammable. Yes. Yeah. They were. Very they were a little too heavy for our but finisher. Yeah. Maybe that's our fault. Maybe it's not. Yep. Um, I really enjoyed the appetizers, but overall, it was a great experience. Great meal. I'd highly recommend. And of course, as we've said about a couple of the other restaurants here in Vegas, ask for the patio seating. Oh, absolutely. It's well worth yep. it. I did request it when I made the reservation. I requested it when I checked in. That's right. So make sure you do that stuff. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Thank you. Wait, say that again. It's fried dough. Hello.